It's time to conduct a taste test to see if we can survive the impending bacon apocalypse. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. All right, there's something different about you, Link, and I don't know what it is. I don't have a beard anymore. Even though the response in the comments from you, the mythical beast, was overwhelmingly positive when it came to reacting to my beard, I have, I'm sorry, made the executive decision to clean shave the face so that I can just move places faster. The friction, face friction was just too much. That's I was, my problem. It was slowing me down. Well, I think this show has the enough- The swimmer principle. Enough beard. I think this show has enough beard on this side. Yeah, you might need to think about trimming yours well. As the well, the reason I did not trim it is because I knew that you were doing this and I thought, listen, man, you know, if we- if Listen, you, man. If you shave your beard and I trim my beard at the same time, the beard gods will be upset with us and you might break something today. We're gonna rub some bacon on okay, it today, right? Speaking of rub some bacon on it, if you have a problem this summer, you've got a problem because you won't be able to rub bacon on that problem because there's gonna be a bacon shortage. Now, you may remember last year there was lots of talk about a bacon shortage for the summer of 2013 and I gotta be Did honest with you, I don't remember it happening and you know how I like to eat bacon and I don't remember paying that, I guess I paid a little bit more for bacon, I don't know. But do you know that there is a virus Look out, there's a virus going through the pig farms. And that uh, virus is called, in fact, Do you hear there's the a siren. Siren? I, I, siren. I get that, you probably can't hear that at home, but there's a siren for emphasis. It's called the porcine epidemic diarrhea virus. Oh, it has the word diarrhea in it. The P-E-D. I, I mean, I don't want to picture pigs with viruses, but why put the word, I mean, I if they have diarrhea, okay, but why you gotta put it in tight? Why you gotta make me visualize that? Well, it's not about visualization, it's about facts. The fact is that <laughs> pigs are dying from diarrhea. Well, All over the country, all over the United States of America right now, pigs are dying from diarrhea. Is, I mean, I got bacon in front of me, man. That's not appetizing. Well, you're gonna eat some in a second. Okay. But it's now, irresistible. <clears throat> now, in interestingly, I don't know if I just anticipate things well or if I'm just in tune with the universe. Neither. But this past weekend. What's the third option? This past weekend, I had an ungodly amount of bacon and pork. <laughs> I ingested all kind, and I didn't know about this shortage. Was this like a New Year's resolution in effect for you or something? It's just circumstantial. This is how it happened. So on, uh, first of all, my kids still have Christmas money and we let them collectively buy things. Like bacon. <laughs> and and they have made a decision to buy a waffle maker. Oh. My, my two children, Locke and Shepard, decided we want a waffle maker. And so Jesse was like, okay, Saturday morning we're gonna do waffles. And she was like, you need to go to the store and get bacon. Yeah, you do. And uh, I said, okay, so the, when you send me out to the store, I see that there's multiple types of bacon. And then I'm like, we're not gonna get just one. We gotta make this a taste test. So I narrowed it down to two types of bacon two pounds, one pound each, and I took them back to my family and prepared all the bacon, thinking that we'll eat like half of it. We ate, the four of us ate the whole thing, now all I, two pounds. I know, we've and already held children. it up. We have crazy alternative types of bacon here. That's not what you're talking about. You're talking about no. alternative versions of real bacon. This was porcine. That means from a pig. Okay. It was actual real bacon. And I, let me tell you. How much? It was incredible, two pounds. Okay. That's like a half pound per person, but I probably, Put down a pound myself because I'm, really I'm ate, the head of the household. You really ate that much? Yeah, and I didn't stop on Saturday. On Sunday, we had some people over. Didn't tell you about this. Sorry, you weren't invited. Um, but just because we got to stay separate on the weekends every once in a while. Well, I was under the weather. I right? smoked a pork loin, a four pound pork loin. <laughs> and at the same time, I didn't even think about this. I made jalapeno poppers, my special recipe, and I put one strip of bacon around each one and, and, and baked those. And so then I probably had a pound of pork loin myself, and then I had eight <laughs> jalapeno poppers, Gosh, each man. one piece of real bacon. So I've got my bacon for the year in one sense. Well, that's one way to look at it. The other way to look at it is you're gonna be really hurting when this diarrhea thing kicks in. You know, you don't get the diarrhea from the bacon. I know that, I'm just saying the shortage. Oh. I thought, oh! I thought I thought that you thought that, I'm I, with you, man. that I was gonna get diarrhea no, man. and I wanted to say, no, scientifically, that's not how it works. But, I mean, is there gonna be no bacon at all? Should we really be shaking in our boots here? Or no. is it just the price is gonna go up? Yeah, I mean, you've taken economics before, right? I think I was with you when you did. Uh, I live economics, Supply man. and demand. 
So if the supply goes down, the price goes up. The demand goes up and then the price point is higher, right? So that's what's gonna happen theoretically over the summer. And I want you guys to be prepared. You know, I want all mythical beasts who I'm assuming many of you are bacon lovers. Because right be now prepared. everyone's just super scared, right? Everyone's super scared. We yeah, gotta do something. So scared. We just can't, if we ended the episode right here, there would be like bedlam across the mythical beastdom. 30,000 piglets died at one farm. I don't mean to get morbid here. But that's, Let, a, that's a lot of potential bacon that never made it on my plate. That's sad. But what I'm saying is there needs to be some sort of, uh, we need to alleviate the fears. I've got some ideas about how we can make it through. Now, first of all, the thing that you can do is you can go to an alternative source of bacon. So we have. So here we have real, real bacon. bacon. We're gonna do a little taste test to see if we're gonna be able to make it. And we okay. have some alternative um, sources of bacon. We got turkey bacon. Types of bacon. Turkey bacon. Distinctly different look. And uh, speaking of distinctly different look, we I mean, have. This looks like a Muppet mouth. You think that looks like a Muppet mouth? This is. <laughs> veggie bacon. That looks like dog bacon. This is for an animal. This is not, this is for a dog. It has to be for a dog. Is it? But it was given to us under the uh, auspices of it being vegan bacon. Is it vegan or just veggie? I think it's vegan. Okay, so. <laughs> not vegan. And then we also have no bacon here as the fourth option. Okay, so like right here. Right there, we're next to Lynn. So here's do, what, wait, which way you wanna do this? Here's where we're, we're gonna eat the real bacon and then we're gonna work down to the dog bacon. Yeah, so let's, so let's switch this, so, let's go turkey. So after. here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna eat these and we're gonna discuss the viability of the options. So this is like the control group. Real bacon. Real bacon, which is gonna be very expensive. So good and In fatty. the future. Mm. Oh, Link went for it. Mm. Mm. Once you pop, you can't stop. Mm. Went for the whole piece, now we gotta sit here and chew for a while. That's not even great bacon, and it's still great. Okay. Turkey bacon, as you can see, there's less fat in this because turkeys, although they're very rotund, don't have a lot of fat in them. Is meat. that fat or is that just different colored, same stuff? I'm not gonna eat the whole piece, man. That's just, the chewing is overwhelming. Mm. It's crispier. Tastes like beef jerky. Mm. Ew. I'm waiting for the flavor and it's not coming. Well, no, there is a flavor and it's not a good flavor. It's negative, it's a negative experience. Okay. It's like beef jerky. Dog food. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You wanna eat the fatty end? I don't think it matters, it's all the same. I mean, they got one. Let's, let's look. smell it first. Hey, look, hold on. They're... I have never tried this stuff before in my but life. But look, it, the pattern is exactly the same. It matches, our patterns match. Look at that. Yeah, that's suspicious. Let's smell it first. Dog food, it smells just like the time I ate dog food. <laughs> I was at your house, remember that as a kid? There. Surprisingly, I'm saying this is better than the turkey bacon. That is surprising, because it's horrible. <laughs> really? It's like fabric. It's got the consistency of meat fabric. I think mm. I'm just gonna pay more for real bacon. Mm. I Listen, I would just, if you mm. can't get real bacon, don't imitate it with a turkey and don't imitate it with a vegetable. Just go to no bacon. The only two viable options are real bacon to pay more for and no bacon. And just mm. go on about your business. You know what time it is. I'm here at Bowie's Creek Elementary School in Bowie's Creek, North Carolina. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Make sure you watch Good Mythical More today where I discuss my method for cooking bacon, which I believe, controversially, to be the superior method. Oh, let's get into that. Also, follow us on Instagram for Waffle Wednesday to go with your bacon. Instagram it up. Wow, man, that's a good promotion. Thumb wrestle for dominance of the show. I think we should spice things up a little bit. I think you should have to grasp a piece of bacon. A piece of turkey bacon? Yeah, you do the fakey bacon, because it's a full piece, and I'll do the turkey bacon. What do you, oh, like this? Yep. Oh, <laughs> it made a little crunchy noise. One, two, <laughs> two three, three, it's like four. I, I declare, declare a thumb war, war with bacon. for dominance of, of this, this show. show. Here we go. You have to use your piece of bacon. Oh, my bacon! One, ah, two, ah, three, the four, friction, five, the six. friction! I've been dominance fixed. of the show. I, the friction of the turkey bacon. Ah!
that the best way to prepare bacon, the most consistent way to get your bacon to the point that you enjoy is in 